Hey guys, Annie Black here, and the purpose of this video is to show you inside my new rewrite app software, um, which is a cloud-based software, which means you can access it from any machine via your web browser. Now, what I wanna do is actually show you inside the software and basically run through it, give you an example of how you would use this application to turn existing content into brand new, um, good quality, perfectly readable uh, content that is unique to Google, and Copyscape and to anybody else, but it reads perfectly well. So I'm gonna give you an example. First of all, this is a homepage. Um, so you can go to rewriterapp.com and you can create a free account. So there's two versions here. You've got a free account version. You can rewrite articles exactly the same as a paid version. It's just the paid, ver uh, paid version has some uh, additional features and it also allows you to um, create, save and manage up to 30 different projects at a time, as well as add um, clients and pricing, etc. if you wanna do writing work for other people, you know, other bloggers, other businesses or whatever. Um, and you can see here, these are the plans here. So the free account is obviously free. Uh, you can just click the uh, create account button and then the uh, membership, um, it, as it is a cloud-based software, you know, there is costs for running this server and resources, but it is a low uh, amount. It's only $7 per month at the minute and you get access to everything. Uh, on top of that, you also get access to 15,000 um, good quality PLR articles as well that um, you can use to get started if you wanna build some niche blogs out or anything like that. This content's pretty good, okay? So in fact, I'm gonna give you an example of that now. So what I'm gonna do is I have logged into my account here. Now this is the paid version. Okay, the writing process is exactly the same as a free version. Um, so you can go ahead and try that first, but if you do want to upgrade, then um, you know, you're gonna be able to get to see this paid version here and exactly what it offers. So you can see here in this particular account here is a few sort of projects, dummy projects mostly uh, loaded in. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take one of the PLR articles, okay? Now in the paid version, you can simply go to this menu here and you can download these 15,000 PLR articles here. They're all in a zip file, and I think there's something like 380 or different categories, you know, different niches um, that these articles are spread across. But what we're gonna do here is click rewrite an article, okay? Um, what I would recommend with either of the versions, the free or paid version, is that you download the PDF that I've put together for you, and this will actually um, teach you how to properly rewrite sentences so these articles are really really good okay so what we're going to do this article here this is from the plr pack it's to do with um hypoallergenic uh, dogs and fur so i'm going to basically just copy this article here i'm going to paste it into here um i'm just gonna have this as no client because it's just for myself. I could put a blog name there or something if, if this is for a, p a particular blog of mine. And I'm gonna give it a name. So this name is going to be Hypoallergenic Fur. I'll use that, okay? Then all I'm gonna do here is click Let's Simplify Your Article, okay? Um, so, this is basically the rewriting platform. So as you can see here, the article that I have just pasted in has been split up into 33 different sentences. If you scroll down here, we'll see all of these sentences. These are all sentences that I can rewrite. And the reason why it does this is it is just so much um, easier um, and simpler and quicker to rewrite an individual sentence at a time and then collate all of those rewritten sentences back together to make a full complete new article than it is to just literally get an article like this, read through it, try and understand it, try and remember it. You might need a few coffees if you're like me and then basically sit down and start typing. Now, some people are good at that and a lot of people are not good at that, okay? If you're not a natural writer, it's quite a hard thing to do and the results aren't always very good. Um, to sort of save a lot of this research or having to do that, you can simply just tackle sentence by sentence. And with the paid version, um, the, these articles will be saved and you can come back to them at a later time. So if I had an article that was, say, 1,500 words long, I might not want to sit there and rewrite that, rewrite that article in one go, but I might want to do it over two, three, four different sessions, you know, you know, 10 minutes here and there, 20 minutes, whatever, and then the project will be done. Now, one thing I, I have added today to both the versions, the free and the paid, is an auto-refresher, auto-save feature, 
Okay, so I think there might have been a slight issue at first with some people doing some of this work and then the, the session timing out and logging them out, essentially not saving the work. So what it does now every 90 seconds, it will automatically re refresh the article and the stats. Or if you've got the paid version, it'll, re it'll save the, the, um, the project every 90 seconds. So essentially it will not log you out of your session if you're in the rewriting platform. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically going to um, just start rewriting these sentences uh, and just work through them and then we're going to come back to um, to this video and I'll show you where we go from there because something else I'm going to do as well is I'm going to show you this rewritten article that I'm going to create now I'm going to show you how it passes Copyscape 100% as well so it's completely unique uh, and undetectable from the PLR article or whatever content that you're rewriting there's absolutely zero footprint or link okay one thing I want to point out first here is if you notice some of these numbers here are green this indicates that in the original article it's a new paragraph so if I scroll down here you'll see this one's green this means that from this line here onwards from that line here up to here this is a paragraph and then here's another paragraph as well so it's just an indicator um, to let you know where the power graph breaks are okay so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to start rewriting these sentences Okay, so I have now finished um, this rewriting project. It didn't take me that long to do. Um, so you can see here, every single sentence now has a new variation. Now, um, this auto save throughout, so I didn't even have to click this button here. Um, but as you can see here, um, the new article word count is 641 words compared to the, um, the original word count, which is 505. So this is better in my opinion. It's more content for Google and for my readers to enjoy. And um, you can see here, completed sentences 100% means I've completed the project. Now the article, um, the uniqueness of rewritten article, it shows 57%, but how this works is, each of these sentences ha have been um, paraphrased, so they've been written in an entirely different uh, way, a lot of them in a different order, I've used different um, words. Now one good thing um, about this is, um, it has a built-in thesaurus, so if I, want to you know I've clicked to the word provoked here and you can see here it has angry aggravated spark triggered incited stirred um, teased excited titillated ribbed joshed baited bedeviled so it gives you a really good um, idea if you're stuck and you want to change your sentence a little bit more you don't have to you know spend a minute trying to work out a different word or some different terminology you can simply just click on a button and basically, um, you know, get new ideas like this one here, temperament, um, personality, uh, temper, character, mood, nature, disposition, um, friendly, um, cordial, amiable, neighborly, chummy, cozy, affable, um, playful, you know, frisky, mischievous, frolicsome, um, which I actually used, I think, uh, somewhere in here, wherever it is, I've lost it now. I've used it somewhere anyway. Right, so um, I basically, so uh, you can see here, and now if I click on this uh, article here, I mean this button here, um, it basically copies it to the clipboard, right? So this is what I basically done. So this is the original article, and this is my rewritten article. Now both of these articles contain the same information. You're gonna get the same amount of knowledge, but one is completely different than the other in terms of uniqueness and footprint and structure and everything else okay so what i'm going to do now just to illustrate this is i'm going to and basically publish this article on one page and i'm going to publish this new article on one page and then um, we're going to run it through copyscape and see if it finds any footprint or any duplicate content with this rewritten article so i'm going to drag this over here a minute 
I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do that. Okay, so I have now um, basically published both of those articles. So if I head over to this page here, you'll see um, this um, page here just contains the original article, nothing else, okay? And this page here um, basically just displays the rewritten article and nothing else. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm going to take the original article URL. So this is a duplicate article. This is a PLR article. Um, that is included within the um, PLR pack within the paid membership um, and I'm going to go over to um, copy scape here we go so this site basically checks it's been around for years and years and years um, basically checks um, for duplicate content and um, so it allows you to put any URL into here and it will um, tell you uh, if any other content is used on any other pages on the web. So I'm going to click go and see what it comes to. So you can see here it's found it's found four results containing the original article and it gives you uh, the sites here. So these are the actual sites all the way down um, tells you where it's actually being found. Tumblr, um, super70s.com, streetdirectory.com and dog allergies online okay so this is where that PLR article has been published now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, go back here and we're going to take the rewritten article URL and we are going to paste that into here and see if the rewritten version shows any duplicate content you can see here no results found for rewritten article so what we've got here is an original article that we've taken. We've rewritten it with absolutely no research, just paraphrased each sentence, went through the rewriting platform, just one at a time. Um, the software saves our progress, keeps us updated on the progress of the project, uh, the uniqueness. And um, we've got the built-in thesaurus that helps us find alternative words to use, um, which makes helps us make the article more unique. Um, and we have an article that reads just as well, if not better, than the original, but is 100 unique to Google and to anybody who reads the article. It's a, it's a different, completely different footprint. It shares no footprint with the original, okay? Which means you can use this process to write articles, to build niche blogs, to um, even write for other clients or other, other bloggers, other people who need content. The sky's the limit, okay? So you can see that this is really effective. The articles are high quality, they're unique, and you can get a free account over at um, rewriterapp.com, um, or you can um, jump straight into the membership and be able to work on multiple projects um, and also access the additional features and also access the um, you know the 15,000 PLR articles as well. You know, it is a low cost, it's $7 a month, and there's a, an annual version as well. Um, if I just click on here, you'll see that there's also an annual version which um, gives you basically 20% off and it'll give you a full year's access to this. And you can cancel at any time, of course, if it's not for you or you you know, you know find you know you don't need the content or you've got other avenues for finding content, then that's, that's fair enough. You can just simply cancel your membership and you won't be billed again. Um, alternatively, you can uh, try it out first with the, the free version. So you can come over here and click free account here or click uh, create free account here and give it a whirl and see how you get on. So my name's Andy Black. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you on the inside.